All right, guys, if you can hear me in the background because my voice is really losing it <laughs> on the end of the third day here at Halfway Jam, this is Monica with the Unhunger Challenge Project, and I'm here with... Dolphin! Right? And this was kind of a last minute, hey, did you get them? And I'm like, no, I didn't. So we made it work, which is totally awesome because I love their hair and their outfits, and it just, it works. Um, so you guys have had a chance to be briefed on the project mm -hmm. um, yes. for the fact that people are like, you have to get them. Um, how does that make you feel knowing that you are, basically your interview is going in with like um, Skillet and Hinder and we just did Buck Cherry and all of those. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, so that awesome. is super you know. cool. That is so cool. And, and then, it's cool to know that every, all of them are doing the same thing and like helping this project mm -hmm. yeah they are and they've been really good about that so we've done most of pretty much all the local ones and then you know a good handful of the national bands I mean we did uh, Finger Eleven and all oh. those guys and I've done 10 years so your awesome. interview is going right in with you know nice. theirs and a part of helping to raise a half a million meals this year yeah. Yeah. Awesome. so um, tell everybody who is watching or will be watching theoretically um, what it was like playing at Halfway Jam this year it was awesome. It was our first time playing, uh, and it's our first kind of like really big festival out of state, which is really awesome. We've played two like smaller Arizona festivals, but this was our first out of state like big thing, and it was a lot of fun to say the least. It very was, welcoming. Yeah, yeah, very very welcoming. Everyone was really nice. Yeah, the energy from the crowd was totally charismatic, and we felt that on stage. It was great. And we were just like walking around, just looking at all the little vendors, and we had so many people keep coming up to us and we're like, "Can we get a picture? We love <laughs> yeah, your Yeah, everyone's so friendly. It's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so you guys are from Arizona, right? Yeah. Yeah, Phoenix. All right. Arizona. So the difference in weather from Arizona oh to here, God. because today, let me it's tell you, it was. Yeah, it's like getting cold outside. I'm like, I need to put on pants and jacket. Yeah. Are you serious? No. I'm liking it because my face is, they can't see it because I didn't do a picture, but most of them will realize that I have Deadpool rock in here. <laughs> and when I wipe this off, my face is probably going to be just as red because I'm pretty sure it's burnt that red underneath. So, oh. like, it's going to be just it's terrible. Like 120 in Arizona right now. So you can keep nice. it. Oh yeah. yeah. At least, at least it's dry heat. You know, it's dry okay, so what's the big deal? But what's it? This big deal with like the dry heat versus our humid. Humidity. Humidity sucks. Hu Eighty degrees and like high humidity, I would say is worse than like no humidity and like 120. I'd take 120 yeah. dry heat and because yeah. you get like sticky and like even just, after you shower, you're like I'm you're super gross, right? Yeah. It just feels like That's heavy, like yes. Yeah. Yeah. And like with like Arizona heat, it's like dry heat. It's like opening up an oven, but like all the time. So it's like it sucks. <laughs> the but hair dryer. Like, but like you're not wet. You're like dry. You're really dry. Yeah. So but you're I, still sweating. Both Some, of them are disgusting and horrible. Right? Somebody made the point, they're like, I don't care if it's dry heat, it's still 120. Like, I don't, oh, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I don't know. It's still hot. It's just humidity. I can't do humidity. No, humidity I'll never move anywhere that it's no. humid. <laughs> humidity makes it hard for people to breathe. Yeah. That's a big thing, too. It's hard it to breathe. It was beautiful humidity. Yeah. It was that might have been it. Hours. So maybe it wasn't smoke or something. It might have been the fact that it's so humid that you... It's like a mixture of dust, smoke, humidity. Yeah. She's just like, can't breathe. Done. So, so who were you most looking forward to when you saw the lineup of like who you'd be playing with? Like who are you most excited to see or hear or watch? Uh, you know, I, I there was a set that just got finished. Um, Jim Blossoms. Uh, they're from Arizona. Um, and those are from Tempe, and they've been part of my life and part of my like family's music taste for a long time. And I've seen them twice already, but this time was like the best for some reason. They just they just kill it mm -hmm. every time. And they they invited us to go like meet all of them after the show. So oh, I'm nice. excited. Yeah. That is gonna be yeah. awesome. Yeah. One of them was actually nominated for an interview, but like their PR person told me that they weren't doing any interviews. Yeah. So uh -huh. not, but oh, well. hopefully we can. Maybe maybe next time we'll yeah, yeah we'll get that. Yeah. So that's cool. So where are you guys off to after this? Um, Wisconsin, yeah? Yes, Wisconsin. Yes, Wisconsin. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 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 Wisconsin. <laughs> and then oh, yeah. we work our way up to, up and down the East Coast. Uh, we cut across the South uh, through Texas, back through Arizona, and we end this tour in California. Yeah, and we're going out on tour with OTEP, so we were on tour with OTEP for like three dates, then we cut off for like headlining stuff leading up to this festival. We're doing like a few more headlining shows, I believe, and then we go back on tour with OTEP. For the rest well, of you should tell them how cool this was because OTEP actually agreed to do an interview. Awesome. So I'm going to be doing an interview with OTEP, so just be like, yeah. Well, definitely. Be, yeah. Very cool. Because yeah. right? that's awesome. 
So we'll make sure to mention that you had a Deadpool mask on. Right? Yeah. Tell them I was totally rocking the Deadpool. You can't guarantee I'll have it when I get to meet them, but yeah. you know I had it. Yeah. So yeah, it that's what's important. Yeah. So, um, so how about what it's like being an all girl, all woman, whatever you know, female band? Yeah. Do you run into any? Uh, stigmas or yes. people that yes all the time. so all the time. why don't you tell us what that's like um, people underestimate us so much probably I'd say at every show there's at least like a good handful of people that come up and they're like we saw you guys get on stage and we just thought you were gonna be horrible we can't believe that you guys were actually good they don't say like you we thought you were but yeah and then but, like they're like we didn't expect anything of you at all and we're like oh. and you're like thanks I mean just this morning we were sound checking and this guy's like you should change your name to Hot Chicks Playing Music. And I'm like, what? what? Would you ever say that to a group of guys? You would never yeah. say anything yeah. like that. You should change your name to Hot Dudes Playing that Like, yeah. no, you like would. What? That doesn't even make Like, that's yeah. so weird. Like, yeah. people definitely, like, it helps us a lot. Like, people really support us for that and it inspires so many girls and it's so awesome. But, like, there's definitely a lot of downsides to it. Just people, like, second guessing us and not believing that we're musicians, that we're, like, a gimmick act. And it's like, no, we're here. Oh, they're just gonna be, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, we totally had the upper hand. It's like, oh, yeah. we showed you guys on stage. It's like, everyone always goes home impressed. And, like, yeah. that's what we want to do. So. Kind of like in your face, but not so mean. Like, you know, just yeah. like, just take like, that, you know? Yeah. yeah, just slightly, <laughs> just sassy, sassy with a little bit, you know. Sassy. Yeah. Sassy. Yeah. Appropriately sassy. Which is probably needed in this business. A little bit of a sass yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because you can't, like, let yourself be walked all over, mm-hmm. which is, it, it's. For a nice person like Megan, it's easy to get like walk all over people. Like Megan, take stop being so nice. Nice. God, Megan, what's wrong? <laughs> and then there's us, and like if you look at us wrong, I'm like, I'll fight you. <laughs> like I'll cut you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you know? yeah. We gotta yeah. protect Megan. Yeah. This yeah. town dude, the other night we played in. Um, oh no. <laughs> Um, he came up to her and he was like, wow, like, I see a lot of guys play drums and, like, you're actually as good as them. And it was like, D- what? It's like, what are you th- what? Like, what does it matter if I, wow. And he, like, you're it's better than some dude drummers. And it's like, it's almost as if talent has nothing to do with your gender. Like, <laughs> it's just like, she happens to be better than some other drummers. Like, right? Like, girl. I'm sorry, but, like, John Cooper's wife. You know, is a teeny little thing, and she can headbang like nobody's business. Yeah. Like I've seen yeah. her all over the stage. I'm like, how's your neck not broken? Yeah. Like I've seen yeah. you whipping that. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. And Jeez. we get a lot of we get a lot of that. Um, and it's like they're trying to compliment us, but it's like at the same time it comes like, out yeah. the worst possible way. Yeah, like that's yeah. not a compliment. I'd just rather you didn't say anything at all. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just be quiet and walk away. Yeah, right? yeah. smile. You know? Thumbs up. Just give us a thumbs up. Like, good right. job. That's it. That's it. Like, all right, I guess that was better than I thought. So you just yeah. don't say anything, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> that's awesome. Well, at the end of every interview that we do, which obviously you weren't aware of, you know, because it was kind of a last minute grab. Whether it's you know skillet, ten years, you guys, it doesn't matter. Um, you have the chance to nominate three other people in the industry. Think of like the ice bucket challenge, but no ice. Oh. Um, to call it to be like you need to do this to do keep it. Like, yep, to keep it going. We have one. Okay. Wait, no, we need three. I know, but we have one. Shut For sure. Oh, good. Yeah. Through fire. <laughs> through fire. <laughs> through fire actually did. <gasps> so, so through fire was my second interview of the year this year because they were on tour with Adelita's Way. So I had oh, nominated. So I interviewed oh, Rick. Wow down in the cities yeah it was like a while ago so I interviewed Rick and he's like well I'm gonna nominate you know the ones who are here so then I quick grabbed him the, whoever it was that's got all the you know makeup Rick. and everything on yeah and I did through fire a while ago Aww. oh what about Stitched Apart yeah <gasps> Stitched Apart's good okay. okay wait do we have three? Oh, we have three we have three, three. Yeah. okay so Like a Storm is number one Like a Storm I've heard of them so yeah. they're awesome, awesome. yeah they're so right. cool play them on Shit Rock Yes. The one. Fire from the Gods. Yes. Who we're on tour with right now? With Otep. Fire from the Fire gods. from the Gods. From the Gods. I think I've seen that name pop up with Otep too, mm-hmm. so all right. Yeah. And then Stitched Up Heart. And I have heard of them as well. I so there you go. Those are your three nominations. Yes. If you can hear me, you have been challenged to keep the project going. Don't let these amazing girls down. Don't let us down. <laughs> right? Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.